Here's Evolts again with ChatGPT tips. I sometimes get asked how I write documents with ChatGPT. Of course, it's not the way by writing prompts and then copying tons of things. There are much better ways. So what you need, you need Typora or some other tool to write Markdown format. Markdown format is similar like Word, like Word processing format, but much more friendly for fast writing. So what I mean by that, it, here is one market research document that I made with Typora. So the way how this works is that you can easily write any text here and you have some shortcuts, like you can use, uh, you can have these things to have some headers, yeah, automatic formatting. So then you can <clears throat> write even checklists like this, right, check and so on. I get to get the point. There is lots of small ways how to write faster. Plus also this format is super friendly to open with any kind of uh, text editor. You don't need to have Word. You can even highlight things, right? Like here is a re research on mobile robots. There is use cases in hospitals, manufacturing, logistics, security, military applications, you see the market trends where like uh, the Europe is lagging and so on. So that's that. So first you have Typora. Then the next thing which you would have is Visual Studio Code. So this is you normally used for programming, but don't worry, you don't need to know how to program. Just take this software. And uh, the last thing you need is GitHub Copilot. So far, everything that I showed is for free. The GitHub Copilot is about 100 euros per year. So this is for pay, but this is super powerful. You will see in a second. So <clears throat> this is the kind of normally AI developer tool. So how it works, maybe they have some example here. I don't, yeah, usually they have nice video, but you will see in a second. Um, so this actually improves computer programmers' productivity by 30%. I can assure you that uh, many companies have tried this. So that's that. Then if we open the same, my market research draft, which I just copied a lot of unstructured data from different sources. If I open this in the Visual Studio Code, it looks like this. First, you see that all of the images, all of the links, all of the uh, headers have this strange format, but this is the only thing you need to get used to that MD has these like bold is like that italics is in different format, but this is easy. As soon as you get used to this, you have no problem with this. So that's one you open this file in visual studio code, which is the free program. And then you add the extension GitHub copilot extension here. This is for pay, so these 100 euros per year. You add this to the this software, you see this is a highly rated plugin. It helps to program much faster. So if you don't know how to program and you want to learn, this is one of the great ways. You can just ask things in comments and it will generate code for you. It is way better for programming than any kind of GitHub Copilot. I mean the Copilot uh, I mean the OpenAI ChatGPT. So <clears throat> if you go back here, what I do next, I make some separated line here or whatever you want to do. And you re immediately already see that this software plugin in the uh, Visual Studio Code is generating like autocomplete ahead of me. So normally this would be for computer programmers, but you can use it also to generate pretty advanced reports. So if I would just write here the header pricing models, pricing models, and that will give me some pricing mo models that could be applied for robots, mobile robots. So, <clears throat> and if I, if I give all the time knowledge input, so it's not like that is generating everything on its own. So if I would know that the obvious model is purchase, per, purchase, right, purchase. So customers 
by the robots themselves, it cost around, um, let's say we put euro here. So let's say it will give me some, uh, some initial drafts. I can fix this later. So then the next one would be lease. So you see how fast it generates things and you can then fix each of these sentences, improve it step by step. So that's one. You can even make the more complicated um, textual information. So let's say competitors, right? And let's make some matrix here. So compet, like table, I mean, competitors matrix or table. You could just write a table as well if you want. So see, it generates this kind of interesting format. So it this is the markdown table format. It makes the, the if I press tab, it just completes the thing. So and it copies directly information that I have above here. So it, this is, um, this is not hallucinations. These are, these are data, which is copied from my initial market research, which was messy above. So, and if I save this and now open in Typora, there is my initial messy research and in the bottom, I see this nice research. So, and then I can export this easily to PDF, Word, and, uh, improve on it. And you see how fast you could build all sorts of complicated documents just by using these few tools. And uh, so if you like this, um, share this video and look for other videos. I have a lot of them.